Jules, I've been chosen by the group to talk to you. You look insane. It's time to take that thing off. I am never taking this off. And before you judge me, touch it. I dare you. I dare all of you. Ooh. You're saying that deep down, every guy is a little bit gay? It's science. To prove it, you just have to set a gay trap. A what? Hey, Andy, what's the name of that Bette Midler song that she sings in Beaches? Wind Beneath My Wings. A gay trap. You're a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> but I know how to turn it off when it counts, right, babe? Sometimes. Sometimes in Betty calls me champ. One of my best guy friends, Neil Goldman, taught me about gay traps in high school. I always had a lot of guy friends. No, you always had a lot of guys hanging around hoping they'd eventually get a chance to nail you. Guys aren't really friends with girls. But it's such a cliche. Right, because cliches about men and women aren't based in truth. Great point, champ. <laughs> that was a bad moment for me. Well, I have tons of guy friends. See? Have you slept with any of them? Yeah, I've slept with all of them, but only as friends. Jules, Tiny Eyes is right. I have tiny eyes? When Andy and I first met, we were in the same circle of friends, but basically it was just a doink chain that I worked my way around. And guess who she got to last? I don't have tiny eyes. You do, brother. You're like a ferret. Did you guys join a cult? Feel it? You're all wrong. Last night on the news, there was a bear and kitten, and they were best friends. If they can do it, so can men and women. Mm-hmm. How'd that story end? The bear killed the kitten after getting too frisky with it. All right. You just need to shake things up a bit. You know, when I get into a rut, I whip out my naughty underwear. Makes me feel sexy. Until about 4 o'clock when I realize no one's ever going to see it. The only time I have for just me is my drive to and from work. How am I supposed to shake that up? Oh, God! This is so good! Just come down and talk. Fine. Ah, oh, dude, it's not a surgical gown. You gotta put clothes underneath there. Ah, fine, I'll put on boxers. And I need you to go to Stan's baby dance recital. No, I will not do it. No, 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 no. Well, if you won't go as a parent, you can go as a contestant. Do you know why she doesn't want you to have a motorcycle? Because she cares about you so much, she doesn't want anything to happen to you. Come on, let's go to the recital. It already started like two minutes ago. You'll never make it. Traffic was bumper to bumper. Okay, quick. Grab Bobby's baseball helmet. Why? Too fast! Too fast! This is how you turn right without breaking! Hold on! We missed it. If you hadn't jumped off the back at that stoplight. I was scared for my life, Jules. You're not safe. I'm taking the cab back to Bobby's. Andy, come on. Hey, Jules. Mm. Feels good to have a lot of power between your legs, doesn't it? Motorcycles are fun, too. Do you just follow me around waiting to say things? 